First it was Stephen Frears, and this is the fifth time I've worked with him. And then we had a, such a wonderful time with John Madden uh, doing Mrs. Brown. And then to suddenly find out a whole area of Queen Victoria that we didn't actually know about. This woman who, in her 80s, was, was a, a bit... Um, sad and uh, desperately uh, concerned about, you know, her friends all dying and surrounded by a rather formal court, not getting on with her children. And I think it must have been glorious to look forward to a few days with, with, um, with Abdul. If you have the expectation that the day isn't going to be so, so formal and that you're going to have to do something and people are going to dress you and you push, you know, and suddenly you have this young man who you can talk to, who can talk to you, who can teach you things. She learned to um, speak Urdu and, and write it. And, I mean, you know, she had something to look forward to each day. You know, we're so used to seeing those great s statues of her um, as you say, an indomitable character, but it shows a great vulnerability and a very human side, which I'm sure all the royal family have. I mean, it's only we who make up our minds that it's not so. If you can't laugh and if you've got to have humour about it, I don't think you, you actually make a connection.